can't find my cassock. Uh, back of the bedroom door. Oh. Ashley. What? Ashley. You're doing the service. That's great. I can't stand people up again. Not on our second busiest day of the year. Well, I'm sure people understood. It's a lot of pressure for you. Which is why I mustn't disappoint them today. Don't worry about it before. I have these low moments. But I shouldn't inflict them on you. It's not fair. Yeah, but I want you to. I want to support you. Anyway, I've given myself a stiff talking to, so it's business as usual. My only problem is having a sermon to actually deliver. But if it's too much... Back of the bedroom door. Oh, and Arthur will sniff those out in two seconds flat. Could have stayed, you know. Oh, he's got his mate to see. Advising him on cushions and drawers. What is your problem? Just because you're a sad little grease monkey in the middle of nowhere. Holly! It's none of your business. Stop winding her up. You're as bad as each other. I'm just taking the interest. If you're going to invite random blokes to kip over. Well, he's her boyfriend. Dean? Seems nice. Dean, it's me. Uh, I've got a plan to get you money. You'll be it's pleased to know. <sighs> so, uh, it doesn't look like a baby yet, but it is. Wow! Can I put it next to me at the fridge? Oh, should we just wait until it looks a bit less alien blob like first? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, off you go. How's uh, Ashley? Well, he's pretending to be positive. He just said he had a low moment. And, and he's doing the service later, so. Oh, that's good. Focusing on work's what he needs. Yeah, I know, but I'm worried that his heart's not in it. The way he was talking yesterday, I've never heard him talk like that before. It's natural to have doubts. He's been dealt a really cruel blow. Yeah, but I, I, I'm feeling that he's, he's putting too much pressure on himself. He's getting worked up about his faith. He's getting stressed out about his sermon. I just wondered if you could help. Talk to him, calm him down. Help him with a sermon? <laughs> He won't thank me for it. Yeah, but I will. Please. There you go, mate. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye. Hello. We're making an egg tray with chicken eggs. Oh. Yeah, it's very German, apparently. We've been finding out about Leo's new home. Distracts him mad until the egg on frenzy. Up uh, 220, please. Hard luck, mate. I remember when I was going to leave Amber for Portugal. That was my choice. Got me though. I won't let him be sad. See you later. Bye. You'll be pleased to know that Angel's still where we left her. Yeah, she is carved into a ton of rock. Where'd you expect her to go? Well, I thought I'd better check in case your dad had tried to kidnap her like he did the hearse. Oh, nice one. Why don't you bring that up again, eh? Gaffy's back. I I'm trying. Simo's been weird. You know, he started freaking out all the guests now. Hey? He burst in on a man in the bath, you know, the one with the tattoos. He thought it was a right perv. It's an easy mistake to make. It was probably, I don't know, Jenny the bog roller smart. Without knocking first. What, do you just go steaming into folks' rooms? Well, he's not making a habit of it. Well, I just don't want him going all loopy again. Right, well, I'll... I'll have a word. Try and sort all this out. So what's the plan? Right. Chaz is away, so it's perfect timing. We need the pub empty, so you need to smash the alarm head straight down to the cellar, yeah? There's the code. Get a rucksack. Take it with you. Oh, there's going to be that much? Well, it's bank holidays, so we've not banked anything yet. OK? There's going to be at least 30 grand down there. You do know what that looks like, yeah? Yeah, of course. You are going to be keeping me on my toes, lady. I won't screw up. You know, when I was a curate, we enacted the entire resurrection with songs. Or you could dress as a bunny and discuss the true meaning of Easter. <laughs> I've actually done that. It was a hit. Probably still got the costume somewhere. But you wouldn't cheapen yourself. Whatever you do, I'm sure it'll be fine. Even if I have to cover the whole church in post-its. It's interactive. Do you want me to have a read? Um, well, it's fairly standard, I'm afraid. No musical numbers. Mm. Isn't it Mark, not not Luke? Of course, of course. Um, you spotted my deliberate mistake. Mm. OK, interesting reordering the resurrection. Shall I have a, a little twiddle? 
Laurel sent you. I'll tell her you scored 10 out of 10 for effort. She's worried about you. I know. She worries too much. Hmm. Which is why I'm doing this here. So, thanks for straightening me out, but I really do need to get on. Are we, uh, gonna charge you extra for making us come in on a holiday? You insisted on coming in. And when the bride's mother's as minted as this one, we don't complain. Yeah, I know. I've got the Prosecco on ice. <laughs> you know, Jay's gonna need to do two trips for that lot. Jay? Yeah, well, he'll be coming, won't he, to pick her up in a bit. He must be joking. That is way down the line. All right, who's having her then? No one. <laughs> this is Eliza's corner. She's gonna sit next to her mummy and observe my sparkling charm offensive, aren't you? But, um. Oh, Megan. Tell me, is that Welsh? Oh, I don't know. I'm Layla. Sorry, that's that's Megan. Ah, uh, yeah. My father's Irish. He likes to confuse people. And uh, this is Eliza. A baby? Yeah, yeah. Never too early to start them in business. She'll be running this place before she's ten. <laughs> OK, has everybody got their baskets? Yes! <laughs> I, uh, heard about your making up jolly. Well, not that Germany's my idea of romantic, but each to that one. No, it's not a jolly. We will actually be working in a Betsy Hamburg. Fair play to you, though. I don't think I'll be able to give my cheating hubby that easy. You said it was easy. Right, the uh, only rules are you don't scoff the eggs en route, you bring them back and we share them all. Well, I won't be partaking on account of your diabetes. Got a little bag of grapes off Dan, all the fun you see, just without the heart disease and the amputations. There you go. I'm going to bow out. I could use the time to be honest. Oh, well, I'll come with you. We could do the advert for the local. Marlon, you take care of Leo. Oh, oh great. We're going to storm it now, kids. I'll be like, I'll be like that block in Jurassic Park with his two mini egg hunters. What's Jurassic Park? A very lovely film about dinosaurs. Why can't there be spiders? Because you're with me. And I know all Laura's hiding places. Everything going to plan? Yeah. Happy hunting, you two. Daddy's busy with his sermon, that's why he can't come. I know. Come on, Baba. Arthur, wait. I suppose now it won't make any difference. Yes. So, I get to go. That is the best news I've had all day. Are you sure you can spare So where finish? are we going to look first? How about our garden? I'm sure I saw the Easter bunny hiding up there. I've already found something. Well, that's oh. the place to look. What oh. we're waiting for. Come on. All right. <laughs> you found it straight away. You haven't seen my dad, have you? I can't find him anywhere. Yeah, I have. He's in the loo again. I'm thinking of charging him 20p a go, you know. <laughs> hey, you've been avoiding me. I uh, wanted a chat. Ah, I'm busy. Mm. I heard about Mr. Angry in the bath. Uh, yeah, a simple misunderstanding. All dealt with. OK. But what about the rest of the stuff? You know, running off at the graveyard and all that. You don't seem yourself. <laughs> I'm fine. In fact, I'm going back to work right now, if you don't mind. Ah, there you go again, pushing me away. Oh, for heaven's sake! Are you still grieving? I'm not grieving. Well, I am, of course. I needed a pee. Hey? At the graveside, and then again at the B and B. Only apparently that's impossible. If it's not for the likes of Hot Tony taking days to do a simple plumbing job, is one of the guests thinking I'm a peeping Tom? I had to use a guest bathroom. And now I need to use the bathroom again. OK, guys, listen, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, I don't want to alarm you, but it's not a drill, so if you could make your way out of the bathroom as quickly as possible, that would be great. Eric, chop, chop, you as well. Far side now, please. Really sorry about this, guys. Quick as you can. Told charity, I'd have to see it to believe it.
What's he got to do with it? It's my sister's pub. It wasn't just me. It was Charity's idea. Oh, please. Don't try and dig yourself a bigger hole. Why, Holly? Come on, tell me. You're on the smack again, aren't you? Is that what this is about? No. no I'm clean, Mum, I swear. No surprises you're involved in this. What's in it for you, eh? Nothing, obviously, which is why I told Moira about it. Doing over the pub was only half of it. Her first offer was to try and split you two up. What? And who pulled that idea in her head, eh? I repeat, Clothy, it's not me. I turned her down. Sorry if that dents your precious man ego, but you know what? Kind of over the X thing. Charity did us a favour. Even if I did have to spy my own daughter to find out the truth. I just kept thinking, what if this was our Debs? How much do you owe? Two grand. That's why this Dean fella turned up yesterday, isn't it? He's not your boyfriend, is he? He was. Before he dumped me. Is there anything you haven't lied about? Hey, where are the rest of your eggs? I gave them all to Leo. Why? Because he loves finding them. Is that bad? No, it's lovely. Too late. We got here first. Is that all you found? You rubbish. Yeah, only because me and Leo are sharing. I'm glad they have gone. I want it just us. Same here. Like the winter picnic. Want me to some marshmallows? And Gabby told you she wasn't really a vegan. And we did the life lesson thing. You remember all that? Everything. You said you loved me and Gabby more than anything in the world. I do. Can we do it again? We could invite Mum too. How about we have a picnic every week from now on? Honestly? <laughs> and it's spring now, so our noses wouldn't be freezing off. OK. Yeah. Come on. Oh, what are you doing here? You been, um, visiting the pub again? Monitoring my toilet breaks. <laughs> well, uh, what, what I'm trying to get at is, um, was it painful? Ah, uh, half as painful as this little chat, I can assure you. Dad, you could have some if you can't hold hey, on. Hey, I'm 70 years old. Just say you'll see a doctor. And have those patronising twerps poking around in my nether regions? I don't think so. Dad, it's their job. You don't have to be shy about it. Are you that. deaf? Now, you've had my final word on this deeply unsavoury subject. Now, just go, will you? Go on. Right, um, next up, transport to the venue. Oh, feed time. <laughs> Well, for a, a winter wedding, I would always recommend a horse-drawn carriage with fur. <laughs> How many bridesmaids did you say you had? One matron of honour, who used to be a he. My daughter's put a restraining order on all children under 12. OK, that's controversial. <laughs> yes, except my son already promised his twins they could both be flower girls. It's causing a family war. I'm seriously thinking of abandoning the whole palaver and sending my daughter to Vegas. Well, you can't do that, cos then... You couldn't have a five-course medieval banquet. Or we could um, child friend of the church hall, you know, with goodie bags and iPods. We've got all the tricks of the trade. Oh, well, if your little one's anything to go by. Mm. Uh, feast your eyes on this. It's our exclusive range of coordinated bride and flower girl dresses. Oh, these are rather gorgeous. I was trying to protect you by bringing a drug dealer into our home. I'm going to kill him. Where is he? Cos battering him is going to help. Yes, it is. He comes into our house, lying his face up, threatening your daughter. He's a dealer. He's targeted her because she's vulnerable. It's not her fault. I really tried, Mum. I didn't tell you because I was too ashamed. I wouldn't have judged you, Holly. But you should have called me. That's why you nicked my car. No. You were going to sell it and pay him off. I knew you were lying. You made mugs of us. I didn't know where else to go. What, so you robbed from your mum's husband? You steal from my sister's pub? Is that how you treat your family, is it? She'll end up doing a lot worse if we don't pay him off. Oh, you're going to bail her out? 
Well, if it means she doesn't end up in prison, then, yeah, too right, I will. And it's my money, Keynes. So I'll do what I want with it. She's old enough to fight her own battles. <sighs> Call Dean, tell him to come here and we'll pay him the cash. Here? Yes. And if you can't wind your neck in, then just stay away. Right. You got everything? I think so, yeah. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. On this day, of all days, we remind ourselves of the sacrifice Jesus made for us. From the Gospel of Mark, Chapter 15. At noon, darkness came over the whole land, and Jesus cried out, My God, why have you forsaken me? People standing near him heard this, they said, listen, he's calling out to Elijah. And they waited to see if Elijah would take him down. But he didn't. God did not come to save him. Give me the money and I'll go and meet him. You don't know what he's like. Holly, sit down. He tries anything, I'll smash his face in. <sighs> hey, King. Stay out of this, please. Hello again. I know who you are and what you've done to my daughter. <laughs> Whoa. No tea this time, then. Take it. Get out. I don't want to see you here again. OK, if that's the way you want it. It is. I'll assume I can trust Two you. Two grand, it's all there. Mummy rescue you, did she? That's really heartwarming. Get out. <laughs> Worth the drive out, then. Pretty sweet for an hour's work. As we come here today, we celebrate the triumph of love over death, of light over darkness, and hope over despair, and the enduring power of our faith in God and his purpose. I'm sorry I can't do this. If God has a purpose in what he has done to me, I don't know what it is. I wish I did. I wish I could share your faith, your belief in a merciful God. A God I can put my trust in. but I respect you too much to lie to you. So much of my life has been spent in his service, but suddenly I... I don't know what I can believe in anymore. Let alone if he loves me. Ashley, should, should we just go? So uh, I'm retiring. I'm retiring, as of now. 
This will be my last service as your vicar. This church, all of you, have been my world. My security, my reason to get up in the morning. But now, I'm going to spend the time I have left with my family, my children. I don't need God to tell me that that is the right thing to do. David's got words for Gemma next, but it's Tracy's who his excitement isn't going to last too long in Coronation Street next. And there's brand new drama later at nine here on ITV set in 1950s Paris. Rowan Atkinson sets a trap as Maygrave.